Today, we're going to take a look at how you can do some time card reporting for ServiceNow or other sources of data quickly and easily using Explore Analytics. Explore Analytics connects in real time to ServiceNow, to SQL, MySQL, Oracle, uh, as well as being able to report against uploaded spreadsheets. So regardless of where you have the data on your time cards, you'll be able to report on it in real time and present it through ServiceNow or any other portal you'd like. So let's start by creating a pivot that allows us to look at how many hours people are working each day. I'm going to go to File and select New View. I can select from any of the sources of data here. So for example, uh, ServiceNow, and I'm going to use the time card table. But this could be a table that has you know, actual time worked on it, regardless you know, of where that data is stored. And I'm going to select a pivot report and call this um, my time card report. Now, because we're reporting against ServiceNow in real time, as I create this report, it's now querying ServiceNow to load that data. I want to break it down by user, so I'm going to grab the user field and drag it into the rows. So now I can see how many time cards were registered for each person. And instead of having the count here, I want to have these totals for each day. So I'm going to remove the count. I'm going to pull Monday into the values and it's summing up everything that's in the Monday field. I'll tweak that label so it's nice and easy to read. And I'll do the same with Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. And this is something that you wouldn't be able to do in ServiceNow because I'm representing each of the values here individually rather than only being able to show the, the totals you know per week. But I also want to be able to show the totals. Now, I could just drag the total field, but if I didn't have the total field, I can use this calculator icon to say, okay, give me Monday plus Tuesday plus Wednesday plus Thursday plus Friday to get the total. So now I'm summing up across multiple fields to get a new calculated field called the total. And I'm doing that without making any administrator or developer change to service now. It's just a formula I'm applying in real time against the data. So now I can see the total here, but rather than just looking at these numbers, I want to get a better sense of how many people are over or underextended. So first off, I want to add an animation that allows me to look at this week by week so that I'm really comparing apples and oranges. So by clicking that animation button and selecting week starts on, I can group by year, quarter, or month, but I want to do it by week. So now instead of seeing all the data at once, I can select individual weeks. So, you know, this is what it looked like September 7th, 2015. You know, this is what it looked like January 11th, 20, uh, 2016, the week of rather. So let's actually get into whether these users are over or underutilized week over week. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another calculated field. We're going to assume that each user works for 40 hours a week and we'll return to that assumption later. So we're going to use the total hours worked divided by 40 and that'll give us the percent utilization. Now right now it's showing me as a decimal. I'd like to see that as a percent. So I'm going to click on that calculation again and say format this and select percent so that it looks the way I expect it to. Right, so now I can see, you know, in a particular given week, a user might be 20% utilized or, you know, 15% utilized, um, etc. But I want to really easily see this. So we're going to create a coloring rule to highlight this. So I'm going to say add a coloring rule to say, OK, if they're late, less than 80% uh, utilized, 
we're going to pick a set of colors and go from light to dark to show how you lie. So we'll start with this color. And if they're really overutilized, we'll have it be the darkest. And in that case, uh, we'll also want the text to be uh, on a white, white and bolded. So now when I look at a particular week, I can see, you know, all of these users are fairly uh, underutilized. But let's take a look at, for example, um, August 8th, 2016, for a, a more representative example. Now I can easily see that almost all these users are underutilized, but Brock is a little bit overutilized. So it immediately jumps out at me that I can see which users are over or underutilized. Now this report is a real-time report. I can drill through to the details on this row and actually see those two time cards and see that, uh, you know, this person has worked, uh, you know, eight hours a day every day on this project and then also put in some additional work on this individual project task. So that is why they added up to being, you know, slightly overutilized. I can click uh, on the report to go back to the report. And if I want to have this in real time in ServiceNow, I can go and say File, Publish. It's going to be a real time report. I'm going to say put this on the ServiceNow dashboard. And as soon as I'm done, I'll have a URL that I can link to if I wanted to send someone this time card report, an embed code if I want to put this in a non-ServiceNow portal. But if I go to my ServiceNow instance and go to my personal dashboard, I can click the Add Content, select Explore Analytics, and find my time card report. and put that where I want on my dashboard. So I can have a real-time report that's showing me information week over week about the time cards. I can drill down, get details, get into the you know fine-tuned details, and understand more about these time cards. The last thing I want to mention about this time card report is to go back to that assumption that we made about the percent utilization. You notice that here I said that we're assuming a 40-hour week. If you'd like to understand how instead of comparing the totals to a, a static number like 40, you can compare it to something that's uh, dynamic like comparing it to a resource plan or comparing it to the numbers of hours allocated, we have a more advanced video called Resource Reporting for ServiceNow uh, that has all of that information. So if you like what you saw here, please take a look at that Resource Reporting for ServiceNow video and you can find more. But regardless of whether you take that next step, what you have here is the ability to create a real-time interactive report without making the data static and doing this manually in Excel over and over again or trying to port this data out of service now. The data is still in service now. You can report on it in real time and get this report. Thank you for watching. If you want to find out more, you can uh, visit our website or look at the wiki or uh, continue on to the video on resource reporting for service now.